you are in the electronics world now once i talk in terms of electronics we were using earlier the electronic device as a tool for communicating our message or information on to another share the information we say <coughs> nowadays we are having various advancement in the communication field now we are having mobile handset smartphone smart antennas all those things has come up with a smartness in the world because you are trying to apply all the applications into a single system which is quite adaptable to all the things and then at home if you see from the tv earlier we used to have black and white tv and then it has started coming up portable tv and then color television and then cable nowadays we ourselves keep the antenna which tries to capture the signal from the satellite and directly we are able to see the your uh, program at home itself earlier we used to have the satellites just like an imaginary one nowadays the students of electronics and communication engineering are developing the nano satellites so because they are also trying to get adapted with the things that are happening in par with reference to the other countries and all those stuff so in this way satellite communication plays a very major role now all of us are using dth nowadays we are using dth at our home right those signals are also nothing but the signals that are coming from the satellite only we have uh, sent chandrayaan as well as mangalyaan and all those satellites are being sent by our isro now these satellites are being sent from our center isro and then once the satellite enters into that particular uh, planet then what it does it will extract the information through its components like camera so it will take the pictures and then it will send the again the information to the isro center then what we do with that pictures we are not going to see anything else other than whether we are able to live in that planet what is the lifestyle that we can undergo like that and all we keep on keep on updating ourselves with the informations that are available from the pictures that are been extracted by the satellites one more thing that we can say that our department is enriched with various fields nowadays we are all talking about vlsi because one side we are talking about the all the applications miniaturized into the single system so now i am going to try to communicate to the person to the person who is living in a, such a far place also when such things are happening then automatically i need the things that are happening with the small incorporated into the very small integrated items into the single one you might say this is a phone okay but this is not a phone for me it is my television it is my communication device it is my gps it is my music player and so on and so forth it can be anything whatever i wants to be this has become possible because of vlsi uh we decide technology is basically a part of electronics we in which we do the very large scale integration that is we take the smaller devices and fabricate and integrate it in a single circuit which can be used for the many applications which can be used in the, our day to day life so these are the research group uh, organic electronic vlsi group is working on uh, developing of uh, uh, devices which can be uh, developed at lower cost and a lower temperature so here we are what actually we are doing we are uh, developing the concept of vlsi uh, devices uh, through uh, organic materials students are uh, uh, phd and mtech students are giving the concept and uh, developing the concept of devices which can be further fabricate at lower temperature without uh, need of ultra clean so this is a uh, graphic era started a uh, very uh, recent uh, this research lab to develop the uh, devices at lower cost and lower temperature 
we are very much proud enough to have the department analyzing very important salient features of the analyzing the satellite data how it is getting affected due to rain we have got the sponsored projects from isro so we are the part getting associated with the isro drdo and bark these are the three reputed organizations in our country we can say that in the world i cannot survive without electronics for the survival and to cope up with the modernization that are happening in day to day life i should be very much comfortable with electronics and i should grow along with the electronics 